Hi guys, how are you? Happy Tuesday evening. Hope you've all had a lovely day, a lovely Tuesday, whatever you're doing. And now it's time for your Tuesday evening tarot video, general video. So no fixed person apart from you. You are the fixed person. The first position may resonate the most because it's where you are now. Okay, and the rest is what we call a prediction. As always, I will be doing the colour cards. Me and Minnie Mouse here today, guys, doing your reading. Um, you may hear the heater because it's a bit nippy, it's a bit cold, alright? So, I'm just going to see now uh, what is coming up for you guys. I'm just going to cut this deck. I do not know what's at the top when I uh, leave it. Um, we'll see at the end of the video. Um, at the bottom of the deck, you've got turquoise, which has awakened your empathy, okay? It can be with yourself if you've been being too hard on yourself then that's what it could mean if you want to attract love in any shape or form wear turquoise or embody turquoise somewhere um, in your aura because it reflects pink and pink is the colour of love okay little tip for you there so let's begin let's see what is coming up for my questioners first card always you guys and let's see what is coming up so major arcana You've got the devil coming in here. Now, don't be dismayed. Don't think, oh, my God, what does this mean? Two ways I'm going to read this, okay? First way, you could be overthinking about something to the point where it's kind of taking over your day-to-day -day life. You know when you want something so bad or you're analysing something and you're thinking, oh, my gosh, I'm thinking about this all the time. Why am I thinking about this all the time? So it's asking you to reflect on that more than anything else. Ask why you are focused on one thing. Is it because you've always wanted it or because you're so desperate for something to happen? Um, and when desperation comes in, we block the path that we're supposed to go down because it's, it's an attachment to an outcome, okay? If this isn't with regards to that in any shape or form, then this would be signing contracts, sealing a deal type thing. Um, but definitely going to the next phase with regards to that, okay? Um, this can mean... Um, two people, there's two people in there, um, but they've got the shackles there, so feeling like they're quite kind of bound to someone or something even, um, but they're not as tight as what you think, okay, so for you it could be the situation that you're in, you're not as, as bound as what you think, if, there's, if you feel like there's no other way out, try and assess that situation, especially if you're overthinking about it, take a step back, remember the card today with the lady pruning her plants and things like that, Get into your quiet zone, whatever that is for you, and the devil energy will make a lot more sense, especially if you learn something about yourself, okay? So, let's see what is following that energy. Well, this is interesting. I'm not going to read these two in the reading, I'm going to put this back, but you've got the Hermit and the Wheel of Fortune. Basically, soul searching is needed, especially with the devil card coming up here. And with the Wheel of Fortune, it's allowing fate to play out. You cannot allow fate to play out when you're in the devil energy because you're compromising the tapestry that the universe wants to weave for you. You're kind of taking its needle and thread away instead of expecting results. But you have to take a step back and align yourself and center yourself. Now, the, what one did fly out. Hang on. No, I didn't. So let's see what's coming in. Now, one has flown out there, and this is the Page of Swords. Now, this could be a person who you're thinking about a lot, guys. Could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Um, and this person would kind of display immature traits, okay? Somebody who could be flaky, somebody who could tell you one thing, but their actions show another, and you're kind of walking on eggshells, not to upset the apple cart type thing, um, or you're thinking, well, what's this person going to do next? Are they going to, like, meet up with me like they said they would, or I don't know where I stand with this energy, which is classic of a page. When you are in a page connection, um, and especially if you're the more mature one, it feels like banging your head against a brick wall sometimes, and it's like, I don't know where I stand, I, don't, I know where I want things to go, but this person isn't displaying those kind of traits here. It's like, they want me, but they don't, I'm not too sure. So that is what the page of swords energy coming in for you is and if this isn't with regards to that then this news coming in with regards to contract is that email coming in um it could be you know additional information that they might need that type of thing um or this could be a message from an air sign now don't fixate too much they could just embody it somewhere in their chart or they could be airy flaky you know that type of energy um but this would be coming in for you like a message okay it wouldn't necessarily be totally out of the blue because you're thinking about it quite a lot Let's see what else is coming up in your position here. The King of Pentacles. Isn't this grand? 
So you're stepping into good things, guys. You're stepping into your own fortune. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean a windfall, like you're suddenly going to win the lottery. What this does mean is your dedication to what, whatever it is at the moment, your vision, or if it's something in, in actuality in your real life right now, will manifest to great things on a material kind of scene for you. So you could move into somewhere you've always wanted to move into, get the job you've always wanted. And this news coming in with the Page of Swords, this message um, would help you get to where you need to get to. So the Page of Swords isn't always a romantic interest, but do you know what? I am going to read it as that t to a degree in this also, uh, because... It's the energy is speaking to me like that today. Um, the King of Pentacles um, in your position is great because it's showing your worth and it's showing that you don't need anyone or anything to obtain what you want. Now, with your dedication and with the way that you're thinking anyway, you've got all the tools on the table. You just might misplace where you're putting all your energy into, making you feel exhausted, making you feel like tired and like that play, that scenario that we always have out on a loop, what the universe is saying to you is put that energy, channel it in different ways and look at what happens, you become the king of pentacles, okay? And um, what I do want to say also with the devil card coming up here, um, don't force things to happen, if things are meant to happen then they will, which is why the wheel of fortune didn't come up in the main reading but it's more of a heads up type energy, okay? This is, the, um, the devil is a Capricorn energy, so you could be a Capricorn um, or you could have it in your chart somewhere, okay? So let's see, in your future position, what is coming in underneath you, underneath the devil, uh, what is coming in. So let's ask for a card. Okay, so we've got the three of wands. This is you messaging someone. This is not face-to-face -face meeting at the moment, but this is like to and froing. Maybe you've not met somebody for a little while and they're starting to message you, which is why the Page of Swords comes up here. Um, so that could be that, and it's somebody who you have obsessed about in the recent past, okay? Now, if this isn't with regards to a significant other, or a love interest, or somebody along those lines, um, then this would be putting an action from the King of Pentacles energy, realising your worth, and actually you're in a good position, and making movement with regards to that. And you could be expanding on marketing, or expanding on something, um, but it looks like you start to... Allow yourself to be seen. Does that make any sort of sense? So your gifts, your talents, whatever that is for you, start to come into fruition slightly here. It's only three at the moment, but this is excellent because it's a step in the right direction. If this was the two of ones, then it would still be in its infancy with regards to thinking about it, writing things down, planning, that type of thing. Because it's a three, it's then putting an action to those plans, okay? So if things have been stagnant for a little while, um, this would show that there is movement coming in in your future. Now, this isn't a now position. This could be as little as three weeks away, guys, so don't feel like it's going to be forever in a day, okay? So underneath the page of swords, let's see what is coming in. Look at this, you've got the Queen of Wands. Excellent, so you are the, t the Three of Wands, then it comes into the Queen of Wands as an outside influence position. Does not mean you are influenced by them or the situation, but it's coming in from it as an external force at place type thing, okay? And now when the Queen of Wands comes in from an external influence, you've got two court cards coming in from an external influence. So court cards are a voice, meaning people are coming into your life. Some of them you may know, some of them you might not know, okay? Um, but the Queen of Wands coming in is really quite, really quite beautiful because I feel he or she is going to give you that deeper meaning to why you are doing something, okay? So if you want to go and apply for a certain job, then there is going to be an energy coming in to assess why you want that and how can you can um, build yourself up on that. Because with the double energy with you as the first position, you might be slightly out of alignment with your thinking. Sometimes when the double energy comes in, we allow toxins of other energies to manipulate to a degree, even if it's by default, why we feel we should do something, how we should proceed with something, and it's always, always, always down to you. You are the power of yourself, you are the um, guardian of yourself, and you are the only one that takes yourself to bed at night, staying in your head. So don't let the actions and opinions of other people sway you to something you don't really, really want to do. Hence why the Queen of Wands is coming in. A gift from the universe to either have a really good chat with somebody um, or to um, just assess why you're doing something. This can be a counsellor, so if you are in a place of anxiety, overthinking, OCD, that type of thing, the Queen of Wands would be some sort of counsel. And I, I'll tell you something, guys, if you do that and you feel you need it, 
more power to you, that is an amazing step to make because you're taking control. And once you take control, all those demons in your head will start to kind of get smaller and you'll start to be more rational with regards to certain things rather than thinking, I can't deal with this all by myself, okay? So keep in your power, keep in your alignment. Amazing, beautiful. Underneath the King of Pentacles, let's have a look. So three core cards now, interesting. Well, face up was the Emperor. So this could be around about next April, all this time starts to take shape. But I'm gonna put him back in because I don't know where he was supposed to go. But look at that more of a heads up, especially with the King of Pentacles. Are you your own leader? And are you supposed to be doing something that your soul is asking you to do, but you're not quite in alignment of how to get to do it, basically? Another court card, the Page of Pentacles. Now, the two Pentacle cards, as above, so below, it often works like this, guys, both in your future positions, both in your positions as well. The idea that you have, that you're moving forwards with, here, take shape. What have you always wanted to do? What do you see yourself in your head doing? What's stopping you? Are you limiting yourself? Are you doing things on a habitual level that doesn't serve you anymore? Sometimes people have always gone out on a Friday night, still go out on a Friday night when they don't want to. They might want to read a book, but they feel like they have to. And there's nothing stopping you from actually staying in and reading your book. I'm not saying that's what you've got to do, but it's, it's an example of how things can change, how our soul speaks to us and asks, asks us to maneuver ourselves in, in different ways. The Page of Pentacles is you showing your mind and your creativity come into alignment. This is our evident. He's looking at that coin there, basically meaning he's looking at his ambition. And what I do want to say, the surrounding factors will make it more accessible for you. And the reason why I know that, when you've got the Queen of Wands coming in to help you, and secondly, this has come right underneath the King of Pentacles in your position. You are the King of Pentacles and you are the Page of Pentacles. So you could be learning something that needs maybe additional learning, but you've got the tools from previous experience that you can maybe transfer your skills over to whatever this is. Maybe it's working with people, maybe it's dealing with difficult people, who knows? You fill in the gaps there, guys. But the new aspect to what you'll be doing all the experience you've had before, it will make sense why you've had to do X amount for X amount of years and whatever that is that isn't quite aligning your soul, okay? So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to see what is coming in as an overall clarifier and see what is coming in. Let's have a look. What is coming in as an overall clarify? These cards are very quiet today. They were quiet yesterday as well when I was using them. <clears throat> Almost. What is coming in? So I'm just going to ask. I'm going to get another one as well. I'm going to ask for a clarifier. Can I have another one, please? So let's see. Just ask the guides what is coming in for my questioners. Yeah, look at this now. This is so interesting because you've got the Ten of Wands coming up here. So this stress you're giving yourself with the Devil energy, Ten of Wands is what we call the Lord of Welcome Burden. The interesting word there is welcomed. We don't want to welcome stress. We don't want to go, stress, I love you so much. Come into my life even more. What we do is we feel like we can't delegate. We feel like we have to take on so much because what goes on in our head we don't always want to offload onto people we don't always want to let people know what goes through our minds sometimes which is why i feel like this energy through somebody maybe not attached to you would benefit you from just offloading to a certain degree okay it's 14 14 when i said that so look at that up and see what that means for you uh but it's letting go of some things that are just causing you too much stress and if you can drop some of those ones then allow it if you need to pick them up at a later date the universe will put it in your path where it will come back around again when i was saying to you what is it you've always wanted to do you've now got the six of cups card coming up here which is all about nostalgia thinking about who you were before all the stress came in who you were before life got in the way who you were when you were that energy of 
nothing can stop me. What is it you wanted to do? How did you want to feel? And this is exactly what your guides are wanting you to focus on. At the moment, with your focus on the devil, it's too toxic to get into the Six of Cups energy. Um, what we need to do is take a step back from that because you're allowing it to a certain degree with all these stresses. And sometimes, guys, some of the stresses we give ourselves don't manifest anyway. It's a fear element. Fear means false evidence appearing real. We have no evidence of certain things. We just live in a fear state in anticipation that something is going to happen, you, making you carry all these wands for absolutely no reason at all. And we all do it. We're all human. But it's understanding when to put a full stop on that, okay? So the Six of Cups is asking you to revisit something. Now, if this isn't with uh, you revisiting something you've always wanted to do, this would be linked to this page of swords here. Uh, with somebody who you might have had a thing with before that resurfaces to some level, okay? Because this is nostalgia, somebody coming back in from the past, okay? Interesting. So you've got a lot going on in this little spread here. So you take what fits for you. Um, and let's see what colour is coming up. This is lovely. Blue. Activate your healing power. That is the part of the universe inside of you, outside of you, all around it's everywhere linked to the throat chakra 37 7 of 3 is 10 linking to the 10 of wands you're giving yourself stress with how you talk to yourself how you speak to yourself when someone compliments you what do you say oh this old thing or you know do you reject compliments because this is a sign that you're not speaking in your own truth there is an out of alignment card coming up here and i just feel for a lot of you, you don't know where you stand with a certain situation in your life. What I want to say to you also is you have the control, always within you, to know what you're going to put up with and know what you're not going to put up with. You don't have to do an action. You can just take a step back and be silent. That's your inner calling. That's your true voice. There is a message in silence also. I'm going to leave it there. All right. So that is your Tuesday evening tarot reading. I will be doing another one on Sunday, um, that'll be during the day, different energies, different vibes, sometimes when the sunlight comes in I get the energy from the sun, and now the moon is out, if you haven't seen the moon, check her out, she looks amazing, and I just get that as well, cleanse your crystals guys, listen to some meditative music if you want to, get in alignment as much as possible, and all good things will be yours, you will be experiencing the king of pentacles energy, leading you into this beautiful page of pentacles energy, new fresh starts, pastures new, and all that sort of stuff, okay? Might even be with somebody brand new. Who knows? So, there you go. I'm going to leave it there. I cannot find my button, so I'm going to press the button on here. You take care, guys. See you soon. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.